This is the IA Podcast, reminding you to recharge your Pokemon Go devices. Today on the podcast, I'm back. Well, you know, we're finally all back together again, and we're going to try to see if we can kind of keep this going for a while. And we're catching up on a lot of news, like some there's some Nintendo stuff in there. There's, of course, Overwatch, all the Overwatch. And uh, you know what? It's going to be a good one. So guys, just stick around. Hello and welcome to another episode of the IA podcast. I almost said the BVR Nation podcast again. Don't do that. My God, why no. do you keep wanting to do that? God. So, by the way, hi guys. I'm back. Um, I was fired out of a cannon. Out of a cannon. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But I'm back now. So, let's get this show on the road and let's get this back on track. Hopefully, we'll try to do this every week. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Anyways, I am joined here today by some pretty awesome people. And if you don't remember, then you got to take a drink because awesome. Ah. I know, right? <laughs> I'm joined by Cat in the Box. What? A- Hello, my ch- no, Mrs. Doubtfire, get out, get out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined by the fabulous dude run. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's just like a, it's, it sounded you like you wanted to say Get the dick out of your mouth, dude. But then you like mumbled your way through like a bunch of semen. <laughs> like wow, I actually did that one even further. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! So it's episode thirteen, and I guess we're recording for Tuesday, August the second, because this episode is oh, going to be coming out today. Oh, we didn't actually yes. mention that. Yeah. Um, so, so normally we would record on Thursday nights and release usually Friday ish. On the uh, mix down of the podcast. Exactly. Except mm-hmm. that you might have noticed we've been really bad about that for like, what, two, three months now? Um, and it God. turned out that Thursday was not a really good night for us to be recording. So we've moved it to Tuesday morning and we'll see how that goes. So far, we're just as crazy as normal <laughs> and a little more awake. So this exactly. could be dangerous. So a little think, more awake? I'm a little less I, awake, really. Well, I mean, I think it'll really help overall because by the time we were recording, like, I know, like, I think maybe the first 20 minutes in, I was, like, totally good. And then 20 minutes after that, I was just like, dude, can we just end this already? Like, I was <laughs> about to fall asleep. And I know Shro probably actually fell asleep a couple of times during I the did. recording process. So, um, so yeah, you know, it's like, it's not too, too early. It's like almost well, I mean, midday. So, I mean, if I don't get a nap on Thursdays, Thursdays, I have to wake up at the crack of dawn and go to work. So, if I don't get a nap by the time we're recording and there's usually delays, which is like after midnight, that means I've been awake for like... 18 hours already that's insane yeah no, <laughs> and that's like, what? why i'm like <laughs> it's like why would you put yourself through that that's that's crazy the things you do for the love of the community right so pretty much exactly so what's what what have you guys been up to man it's been a while since we've you know all been Ooh, together like this so shro what have you been up to man um me and my Upper management bosses at work are pretty much at war, and the entire staff knows it. I, I'm trying to find a new job because the my the owner of the company has gone off the rails, and the job is bad, yo. Oh man. The t- the two girls that I'm friends with from a previous job that we worked together that actually got me into this job are even also looking for a way out, and they've been promoted during the time there, so. Uh, yeah, yeah they it's, are. Uh, it's that's, time to, um, to move to something else then. Y- yeah, I mean, there's only probably somewhere around 17 people on staff. Somebody uh, put in their two weeks notice, our new receptionist, actually. Here's the receptionist li- lineup. We've never had a receptionist until about a month ago or so. Mm-hmm. Um, for, I guess, all the time that the company has existed, which is mind boggling to me. Uh, it's just been random staff members that happen to be closest to the front desk that it's normally supposed to be upper management because they're the ones hanging out in the lobby taking care of upper management things. But for some reason, they just kind of ignore the lobby sometimes and we're like, well, there's a customer up there staring at us. Guess we better go take care of that. (laughs) Um, So 
somebody, one of the better, the, like one good upper management person, um, finally convinced them, you know, we should really hire uh, one or two receptionists to cover the busy hours during the day and all that. And we're supposed to have two. Um, right. We, one for the morning, one for the evening. And we hired one. And they told us, you know, we she introduced herself, and they told us her requirement or her qualifications. And immediately, all of us kind of had this look between each other of this girl is so ridiculously overqualified for this job and is barely getting paid over minimum wage for a job that all of the things they just because she's like a trainer, she's a vet tech, she's like like all of these things where she could be making literally double the amount of money we're paying her right mm -hmm. now. And for some reason, she's here. She, I so think, my... realized this, too, because she quit three days later. Like, just like, I'm not coming in, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. So, I mean, you yeah. guys have been through quite a few then receptionists at this point, I, I take it? Um, well, we're on our third after just a month. <laughs> um, wow. Because the second one was actually really good. She did really well. Um, I didn't know there was any problem, but apparently she put in her two weeks notice last week. Mm -hmm. And then three days later, maybe two days later or something, uh, came into the main floor where the rest of us work with the animals all day um, and kind of just waved to us in near tears. was like, I love you guys. I just want to let you know there's no problems with you guys, but I can't take it anymore. I'm out. I got to leave. I'm not coming back. Friend me on Facebook or something. I'm sorry, you guys. And I was actually outside, taking care of her outside, I walk in, and she's like, and I hear the Facebook part, and I'm like, oh, okay, they're, they're joking about Facebook stuff, and she leaves. Only two days later after that, so she's like, yeah, Carrie quit that day. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, and at that point, we were already actually training a third receptionist that I thought was going to be the second receptionist that we were promised months ago, mm -hmm. and now she's just a replacement for the other girl. <laughs> um, That's horrible. So, uh, yeah, that's how bad dealing with having upper management, I think it's, they're not training them to do stuff. And then, you know, when clients are like, well, why doesn't this person know what I want? And they're fixing it. It's oh, bad. Um, but yeah, that's the problem with the reception. So we've had that person quit. Um, another person put in their two weeks on Friday cause their old job basically offered them more money to come back. Um, and they hated it here anyways, figure. Uh, so that's two people. Oh my god, and this place sounds I'm... like the destroyer of dreams, honestly. Uh -huh. like, um, like I'm much. trying to find a way out. My two friends are trying to find a way out. Um, but we're basically all looking on being out well before the end of August. So that's five people. I know of at least two other people that are want out, but they have more long-term... Um, delays i guess so yeah almost a third maybe even a half of the staff is unhappy and vocal about it and all are like looking for a way out and then i know that pretty much the entire staff is at least unhappy about things but probably too complacent to find a new job yeah so. it sounds like you definitely need to get out of there oh my god you? yeah it, it's run while they're getting good right now <laughs> the the place is it's... falling apart that's so what I'm insane. telling people is I'm applying. Why do you want to leave it? Uh, because the boss is off the rails and literally everybody is trying to leave right now while you still can. Because everything is just <laughs> pure madness. Now, how about like any games that you've been playing? That's Anything? the problem. Because of all of this, I have played very little. The only thing I've really played right now is, don't be mad at me, Rocket League. Okay, that's, there's nothing um, wrong with that. It's not actually, it's still not installed on my computer. My friend JP that I've been helping repair things and just hanging out and stuff. Um, he's like my local hangout friend. Mm -hmm. um, he has it and has been getting back into it. Oh, okay, and nice. he has multiple computers because he's got like an HTPC in his living room. He's got his gaming computer in his office. And he's probably got more tucked away somewhere because he's a lunatic. Um... But, yeah, so I play on one computer, he plays on the other, and that's how I've been playing it. So every now and then it pops up on Steam that I'm playing Rocket League, and, like, Mallow or somebody messages me, like, What are you doing? Oh my god, you mad? I'm like, no, no, please. <laughs> he's, back in, he's back in the abusive relationship. Yep. Troll. Pretty much. 
Listen, Shro, oh. at one point, we're going to have to have an intervention, you know, but <laughs> until that day comes, you know, we're going to move on to Dude Run and see what, what yeah, Dude please. Run has been up to. What have First you been off, up to? I need to fire Shro <laughs> <laughs> for getting back into Rocket League. Okay. What well, you we... don't know is literally all of our chairs are cannons. <laughs> okay. We basically all have, like, every single one of us has, like, two buttons on either side that'll fire the other person be sitting besides us, so... We can fire each other at any point. 007 ejection chair. Exactly. Yes. Pretty much. Yeah. Exactly. So anyway, I have been working on a project for a contest that was on Twitter. And I don't know if I should announce the next thing, so you might want to cut this out. Okay. I mean, the, ex the sentence explaining the whole, like, cutout thing. On a related note, it also updated. They did what? The app up. Oh, hold on. Don't don't get too excited. Let me let me Google. Okay, I'll like just cut up what I started saying and then just <laughs> what go are you to here. Okay. Right now. <laughs> okay. So I don't what know. have you been up to? What have you been up to, Dude Run? Um, uh, I've been working on a project for a contest that was going on on Twitter. Hope I did well. Um, uh, other than that, I've just been. Farting around in video games left and right. Uh, been playing the new Guild Wars 2 update. That's fucking okay. awesome. I didn't even know there was an update. Like, what did they update? Uh, they added a new living story chapter. And right. it's pretty fucking awesome. Nice. There's a new map. It look, It reminds me of, like, the end of Final mm. Fantasy VII. That is Thunder. Hello. Ooh, I remember Give that it Final to me! Final <laughs> no! I have bright blue skies. I want thunderstorm. Bright Give it to me. I don't want thunderstorms. Yeah. And now everybody I'll else get the thunderstorms. The thunderstorm. No. Uh, that's about it, really. Like nothing really happens in my life, so it's yeah. I just get minor things of excitement, and that's it. All right. Fair enough. Sounds like uh, sounds like good times all around. Anyways, I mean, you know, it could mm. be worse. Right? At least yeah, it could be at like... At least we're still alive. We're still somewhat gaming. Somewhat living life. Somewhat life living. Exactly, yes. But yeah, in other news, I got a new shift. Uh, I have now Fridays and Saturdays off at work. So that's why also it kind of made it a little bit more difficult for me to like record on th Thursday nights. Because by the time I would go home on Thursday nights, I'd be like midnight. And then I'm just like, I'm kind of tired from work, you know? So it's like, it definitely has made it a little bit harder to kind of try to get together. But I but mean, what you're saying is Friday and Saturdays are free, so we can have like a 48-hour podcast. Well, I guess kind of we could. But the thing is, I kind of tend to go out a lot on the weekends, No, too, no, you're not allowed. So. No real life. <laughs> I'm kind of, you know, it's like... It's like summer, you know, it's like the social butterfly in me is like happening, you know, starting to come out of its cocoon, you know, before the uh, winter comes back again, which, you know. Come on, winter is when you get to be social. <laughs> get to huddle like, inside it's also not and, hot, you know, you go out freely. press naked bodies to each other and not go, oh my god, you're way too warm, get like on the other side of the room. <laughs> fuck you, it's too hot for that shit right now. Oh, man. But yeah, so I mean, other than that, what have I been playing? I've been playing, um, I've actually kind of gone back into Worms, uh, Worms Reloaded, which I know some of us in, I back in the BVR I days. I Yeah, so some of us back in the BVR days, you know, we used to play that, but I kind of got back into that. I was playing some Magicka. Oh, and, I only have Revolution. Uh, oh. I've Reloaded. Magicka, right? Like, that's a I miss crazy Magicka. Game. It's a crazy I've game. I have not right finished now. that. <laughs> And neither have I. Neither have I. And a lot of Overwatch. It's been uh, it's been Overwatch crazy right now, and it's good. I like it. It it's... is in fact very fun. I've kind so... of been having like a bad stream of luck lately, though, because I have lost. I think the last six matches that I've been in. So it's a little bit disheartening, you know. But I'm hoping once we're done with the podcast, I can go back and hopefully kind of break that bad streak that I'm on currently. Uh, dude, let me know when you're going to be playing. I'll hop in and be your mercy. Awesome. Yeah, Speaking maybe after Magicka, the we can do that. Yes. I actually semi-recently acquired Magicka. What? Okay, actually, according to Steam, it was two years ago. But okay. <laughs> um, uh, I've never played it. So maybe that sometime, too. We need to play that, then. 
All right, then. I guess potentially it's... recorded, potentially not. We'll have to see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Record it and potentially release it. Potentially not. <laughs> <laughs> potentially all the things. Maybe future video thing. <laughs> that would be awesome. So, yeah, we'll definitely have to keep you guys updated on that. And uh, let's see what we what we can do. But yeah, um, so moving on to like, you know, a couple of things that we should probably talk about since we haven't really had a proper podcast in like forever should be. Um, well, what do we have to talk about? Well, we got we a list. To well, we have a Google Doc now. Right. So we're super organized. I was just trying to pass the ball on to someone else. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm all for it. Um, what I was trying to allude to earlier uh, was... Which actually might have just gotten cut out, so never mind. Um, but Discord, uh, the app itself, has actually updated. Um, I think that was actually a week ago now. Um, but they've updated and added some pretty freaking cool things. Most importantly, direct messaging, direct calling, and group messages and group calling. So, you and your friends from different games and servers, not have a server for your own because you're lazy and didn't make one, um, or don't want to manage it, well, you can just add everybody to a group of up to ten people, I think it is, and you can all message each other as if it's your own private channel. Uh, you can then also initiate a call and have your own private voice chat channel between all of the invited people, and then you can also disband it whenever you want. That's and awesome. you can still, like, chat even after ending the call mm -hmm. in the group. Like nice. Skype and the rest of Discord. I was going to say, like, so Discord is becoming, like, this kind of weird hybrid, like Discord like, and the TeamSpeak and all these other voice channels. That's kind of what they've been going for, one. it looks like. Yeah. I still, true? I desperately want them to partner with Telegram and allow user-made stickers as emoji oh, because... Wow. That is seriously one of my favorite pieces of Telegram, and until I can post all of my silly furry stickers. It's... I was going to say, obviously, you're just going to be posting all your furry stickers. So. I they're think actually I tame, that... most of them. I, I think I read that they're going to support custom emojis soon. I may be wrong, so don't quote me on it. But if it's not on their update list, you can <coughs> probably suggest that, Ow. like right now. So right. Well, you let's... might want to go do that. As uh, as Shro has an aneurysm over there, you know, we'll just uh, Not funny. We'll stay up to date on that. We'll stay up to date on that. Oh, and the thing you said at the end of the our last episode was funny, Shro. Shush. Shush. <laughs> We've times. proven that Shro is a bad person <laughs> on episode 12. <laughs> oh, only dreams now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's be fair. How many terrible things have I ended a podcast with? I don't know. I haven't uh, been keeping track point, until just probably now. Probably countless, yeah. Every single episode. 12 episodes worth? No, 13. 14, technically, if we count <laughs> this one. <laughs> Wait, do we have an episode zero, then? We have the birthday thing on YouTube. Oh, okay, right. I forgot that's technically not an episode. Well, this is an exclusive one. So speaking of which, SoundCloud, go check out that YouTube video. <laughs> we did a podcast for someone's birthday. Right. We in played which Cards I Against was Humanity. There, it was fun. In which I was there for all of, like, what, five minutes, I think? <laughs> you were there for... <laughs> no, I think you were there thirds? for, like, an hour. No. Maybe like a little less. the podcast. Yeah, right. you came in late, and then you left early, which was kind of funny. <laughs> uh, what else has, have we done? Oh. Um... Dude, you have this uh, Sonic Mania thing that I have know nothing about. Yes, I do. What's that about? It is a new Sonic game that was announced at San Diego Comic Con. Uh, okay, that's an interesting. It's classic place to theme, announce that. so think like Sonic One, Two, and Three. Uh, it's being developed by a bunch of people who are fans of the classic Sonic games. And stop me if you've heard of these names. If you happen to be following, like. The PC, iOS, and Android versions of these games. We've got Christian Whitehead, Simon Tomley, Tom Fry, and U the YouTube musician T Lopes. 
all working on this game, and I'm excited because I recognize Christian Whitehead's Sonic engine from my Let's Play of Sonic CD, and that felt fucking amazing. So if that I've engine is good in this game, holy bullshit, is going to be pretty good. Awesome. All this right, should well, be coming I mean, out the first quarter of 2017, apparently. Well, hopefully it'll be a good Sonic game. I know it's been, you know, it's been a tough road for Sonic ever since the 90s, but... Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Somehow people are still keeping the dream alive, so... Hopefully this one's a hit. Yeah. And hopefully not a lot... Well, it can't be much worse than, like, Sonic 06, so... There's that. <laughs> Oh I'm throwing shade at Sega. <laughs> well, they've got another Sonic game coming soon. It's not really got a name yet, but it's going to be a 3D one, possibly with classic Sonic as in like Sonic Generations. We don't know yet. We only have like a vague trailer to go off of, but kind of interested. Might be, might be cool. Cool. Very cool. Lightning, go the fuck away. <laughs> Give it to me! <laughs> Shro wants you. Go to Shro. I want it. Go to Shro. In whatever state he's in. Probably to the... I'm immediately west north of you, you dick. <laughs> okay, fine. Go immediately north of me. <laughs> You're in D.C., dude. Oh, I'm in Ohio. Okay, fine. That D.C. is immediately Wait, are north you of me. You're south of D.C.? Yeah, I'm in Virginia. We're yeah, but I, I, thought you, I thought you were on the western side of... Uh, Maybe, but like that's DC is like the closest thing I can think of at the moment. Oh. So we'll just call that. We're just trying to publicly triangulate your location so we know where to drop the nuke. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The first fine, whatever. Yeah, all this time I always thought you were living in Florida. Why is that? I was. He moved until, like, like last six year. months ago. Yeah. Okay. More well, than six, that. So like six December. months ago. So like the last time I was sober. Like, come on, guys. Dude, you really have no long-term memory. This is concerning. Have you been checked out for I'm, this? I'm starting to wonder if we've accidentally replaced you for a robot, or if when we fired you out of the cannon, you hit your head on something. <laughs> we fired you... him out of the cannon, and his brain kind of fell out of his ear from the momentum shock, and it's still in the cannon. <laughs> Probably that's what happened. I gotta pull that thing out. Fuck. Hell yeah. Um, um, so, new Overwatch character. It's now finally out. Have we talked about this before? I don't think so. I we think we may have touched on it on the birthday episode, but not really. Right, we this. briefly touched on it, but we never really went in depth. Because neither of you two were in the same podcast or sober enough to talk about <laughs> it. So go! All right. Okay, so Anna, support sniper. She heals and snipes, but doesn't headshot. It's kind of fucking awesome. Go, Brian. So basically what happens is she has like these bullets, right? And then when she hits you with them, well, if you're on her team, then it'll heal you, which is pretty cool. And if you're in the opposing team, then it'll hurt you, which is also kind of cool. Not for not if you're on the enemy team, though. But in any case, she also has this little gun thing that will tranquilize you as in like put you to sleep. So it's actually pretty awesome because it can not just... euthanasia. <laughs> also take not a shot. that kind yes so basically it's pretty good because it can interrupt i think pretty much any ultimate yeah except for maybe it'll... the exceptions of maybe i don't know like a diva possibly yeah i don't think it'll work on diva's alt because that yeah. involves separation from her and the mech that she's in exactly so. but i mean for anything else you know like if so, if some little twerp is like it's high noon then you know that'll yeah. be that'll work um it's i don't even noon. play overwatch and that just annoys the shit out of me at this point <laughs> <laughs> i i hear or read someone say it's high noon and i just want to punch them in the face <laughs> dude run say it's high noon <laughs> it's high noon <laughs> <laughs> Punch through the internet. I've been told that my voice for that is actually pretty good. It, it is, is actually. Close to it. Yeah, it is. That's actually really good. Thank you kindly. Um, <laughs> Boo hiss. 
Boo. Okay, so um, and it's really great when you're, you know, me playing as Reaper, and then Anna has her ult, and all of a sudden I become, I have my ult as well, and we both ult at the oh, yeah. same time, baby. Yeah, like you get all, and you get boosted from Anna's ult, and then you just pull your ult, and you're taking less damage, and you're doing more damage. And I'm and, this oh indestructible, my God, everything's dead. indestructible, flowery, like John Woo force of death. The only thing that you need are like pigeons coming out from behind me or something <laughs> out of my ass. That's all you really need. Pigeons then you'd be the TF2 out. medic with that glorious little taunt. Oh, Shut yeah. up, Lightning. Go to Shro. I want it. I don't remember that specific taunt, but that's that sounds pretty cool. That's the, that the should be a taunt. taunt. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Lightning. Go away or the meet the medic taunt. The Lightning go. Oh <laughs> the my god. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna sidetrack real hard for just a second. Did any of you watch that video that was 40 minutes long of the best Vine posts uh, that Squall posted in the Discord chat last no, no. week? No, no, because 40 minutes is too much for my attention span to. It is, through. but it's all Vine videos that are like 10 seconds long, so it I kind know. of cancels itself out. I know, but. Ugh. Damn it, that means that the rest of this joke is worthless. Aww. It's so funny. Damn it. Then All again, right. you know. Never just mind. Back to back to your regular mind, scheduled I, program. I <laughs> just keep in mind I completely ignore most of what's said in the Discord chat just because it's by the time I go back in there, I'm like, okay, well there's like ten thousand new messages i'm not gonna read through all those so well, you should get on more mr i'm gonna real I life know, i know it's tough it's rough it's rough i'll, it's I'll rough try i'll try rough. my best exactly like sh like dude okay akuna your tatas okay like well i'll, I'll try my best thank yes, you Brian. for furry porn akuna okay furry porn <laughs> <laughs> uh de-stress your breasts man my breasts aren't very important. Buns. Go. Not gonna click on that. We'll never I'm gonna click, click on, on that. it because it's we'll not on never, the recording. Ever, ever. Ah, ever. That is in fact very important. Okay. One of them has a penis. And a vagina. I that is a shock. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the first thing I found when I was a very long. Okay, somewhere on this page you look click. <laughs> somewhere out there. So um competitive mode has anyone been playing a lot of it in overwatch and by everyone i mean dude run or anyone i haven't been playing a lot of it because my luck has been kind of shit with matchmaking so i've been steering away from it to try to get better um what i have been playing recently though like the last few rounds i've played i've won and yes. i want to quit while i'm ahead <laughs> <laughs> luck sucks it really does but yeah I apparently, okay, this is not I'm apparently porn. very good at Mercy. And Shro tells me this link is not porn. It is, in fact, not porn. It is a guy sitting on his lens. Why? And the camera. He's sitting on a camera. And that's what? a huge-ass expensive lens and a decent camera. Oh, that is I'm crying. Expensive lens. Why? And he's taking picture with a cell phone instead. I... That I, better be a I, chair designed to look like a camera with I a huge ass so. lens because I want to punch him or steal the camera, one of the two. But punch, punch him and then steal the camera. Yeah. In any case, this doesn't make for a great radio, so let's just No, it's it does. No, I'm sorry. My 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 the rails are over here, the train is over here, and Shro is somewhere on that planet. Somewhere out there. <laughs> okay, back on track. What were so, we talking about? Uh, we were talking about competitive, competitive. Mercy. Yeah, and uh, mercy. mercy and all that fun stuff. But I mean, yeah. So I mean, you know, I still haven't. I like. I mean, I got into uh, competitive games out of the out of the six that I lost. Three of them were competitive. I don't know why. My friends were just like, "Let's do competitive," and I'm like, "I guess." And we lost. I just well, if you're a good player it. in competitive, then hopefully your team is also decent. <laughs> Hopefully, but, you know, moving on to another game that recently put in competitive mode. Oh, boy. We did what? touch on this, but, Brian, your opinion was excluded because you weren't there, so let's hear it. Well, I mean, I it. haven't tried it yet, so I don't really know. Oh, boy. I don't know exactly how competitive 
the competitive works for this specific game. Oh, so boy. if anyone would like to kind of, you know, give me like a rough idea or like fill me in with your penis, that would be awesome. And I also tell do, me about TF2 competitive. I can do both at the same time. Perfect. Uh, it is bad. Is it really? It, it is very bad. They have not figured out anything about competitive yet. And while well, they are working on getting it all set up to work properly and be nice and shit, um, Levers very much had the advantage over everybody ever. Leaving made the game. Leaving currently makes competitive mode pointless in TF2. Where if one of your team leaves or one of their. the enemy team leaves the game. The whole entire match is thrown. Just kind of pointless. Gone out of the window. And they all the lever got was like a fucking cooldown timer. They didn't That's lose it. any Yeah, that was it. Huh. All they got was a fucking cooldown timer. They didn't yeah, get there's no punishment or anything. For, yeah. Yeah, there was no punishment. Okay. So what do you get out of, you know, putting yourself through competitive mode? Uh, the ranks. Yeah, agony. Players that are kind of like the jerk players of TF2. If you've ever gone to a pup server and just found a whole bunch of arrogant people, kind of like that for now. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, that's a shame, honestly, because TF2 was such a good game. It still is. Mm. Still you know, is, but yeah, but like, not it, the competitive it, mode. And it's heyday. It was great, you know, because a lot more people were on there. But yeah, I'm liking. The idea of ca the casual matchmaking where it puts you in a 12v12 thing, but even that's still bad so far. From what I've seen, just it's pairing you up with terrible teams or what, very one sided games, and it's not doing anything good for anybody. Mm -hmm. So it's honestly better to just find a random pub server that's being hosted by a community or something and just play there. All right, but yeah, right for right now, competitive mode sucks, and it it's bad. All righty then, good to know. They should just bring back the quick play button. I'm un among that crowd. Yay! Yari! Yay! I have hopes that it will get better. I still make fun right of all of that crowd. Sorry, what, Tro? I still make fun of all that crowd because back in my day. I have no quick play button. Back in your day, <laughs> we were using the quick play button to find servers, and you didn't mind or know about it, apparently. I didn't know about it, or I would have made fun of you back then for it, too. <laughs> well, yay. It turned out kind of okay. So there. Kind it's of true. So, bleh. So, Pokemon Go, everyone's still pretty addicted to it, I take it? I actually yeah. finally got it. Just this Friday. Oh, wow, Friday? really? <laughs> Um, I was busy, I didn't want to, you know how I am, I oh, tend yeah. to avoid hyped up things unless it's something I'm hyped up about. <laughs> um, I actually went out with, uh, co-workers who play it pretty hard and it finally convinced me to get it. I just made it to level 5 so I can finally pick a team and I'm trying to figure out what team to pick. Me and Dude were discussing this earlier, I was pretty dead set on being a Team Mystic because Team Instinct doesn't... Seem like there's enough of them in the area to really be worthwhile. Um, and I know that Team Valor is a bunch of hardcore assholes. So, um, I was intending to join Team Mystic, as I said. And then I found out that my lady friend is Team Valor, uh, as she very aggressively told me this, so I think kind of proving the stereotype a little bit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, now I'm conflicted and don't know which of the teams I should be joining. Instinct. Just so. don't pick any, Don't pick Just either one. Go with your instinct. But, but I want to do gym stuff, and, like, instinct never has anything. Well, then be the part of instinct that has something. Or don't, whatever you want to do, but, like... Yeah, it's your life. We don't. At least that way you're not helping Valor, but at the same time you're not helping Mystics, so you're not helping my team, so whatever. Right. Just join what you want. It doesn't matter. It is a game. It should only be that. 
I joined Team Instinct, so if you know what's good for you. <laughs> I joined Mystic, so if you join Valor, then we have all three and we're all rivals now. Well, weren't we always from the beginning anyways? True, probably. Hey, true. I will also point out that at the moment I'm surrounded by like four Pokemon and trying to catch them all, so... <laughs> Anything good? Or is it just like... I just caught a bee drill. Ooh! All I get's like weedles With a curveball, no less. Nice. Very nice. With a what ball? Um, I'm working on throwing curveballs. Oh, curveball. Okay. <laughs> I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I'll learn Wait, what are later. you? Ooh, a Spiro! Ooh. I got well, I all the interesting a... stuff. All I had were Pidgeys and c Caterpies and Weedles and shit here. Yeah, I got a lot of Rattatas, Weedles, and Pidgeys here. In fact, yeah. I involved, I involved, evolved one of my Pidgeys into a Pidgeotto already because <laughs> it, I just have that many candies for them. Cool, I just caught a Spearow. Yay. And, and what are we talking about? there's a Rattata. <laughs> Anyways, we have horribly disparate derailed other than well actually no we did have pokemon go on the list so <laughs> no we did so it's all you know i mean what are some of the news items with pokemon go right now we have uh there was a recent update right that sort of fixed the tracking thing so that well, no it didn't really fix it so much as it removed it and people don't know if it's being removed permanently or it's just being taken away to be fixed and it'll eventually be put back when it's fixed oh yeah it was completely taken away what the hell so, ooh, so I just the tracking caught another thing. Like, what, what does that mean? So the, there's a little bar on the lower right that if you poke it, it'll show up to nine Pokemon that are in your nearby vicinity. Mm -hmm. And it initially, each of them had a footprint rating, either being zero, one, two, or three. Oh, is that one away? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, the footprints are now gone, everything looks blank, but that's not true. Um, they are actually varying distance. I have not heard uh, confirm or deny of whether the nearby thing is in order. Because it's normally the uh, top left Pokemon on that little list is the closest thing to you. And it's um, not always I, been. I don't know if that's still true or not. So Ooh, right now, Nidoran female. Right now, it's pretty messed up. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And I know they were um, also shutting down a lot of these Pokemon, you know, like kind of... Um, oh, yeah, that's sites. right. Like, Pokevision was a big one that uh, a bunch of my friends used. So, oh, yeah, like, yeah, third-party things. Right, so, like, think in WoW or Guild Wars, where you can, like, look up resource nodes and, uh, like, event timers and that kind of shit for stuff going on in the actual game. Um, you had a map of where Pokemon were being found and existing that you could look at any location and see what was there without having to actually be there. And that was a pretty cool thing, and apparently they shut that shit down. So, that's not... I, I kind of frown on that. That's not cool. Well, if they had their own map or it let you move the map around... Other than just, like, don't really, fixed at though. your location. That'd be pretty fucking cool, and they need to implement that. They, they had that for Ingress. And this is what, the, that's what this game is based off of, at least the engine, anyway. Yeah. So, Pokemon Go, whatever, Niantic, get on that shit. You have the engine, what's the holdup? Let, let us move the camera. Get on it, yo. I mean, you don't have to tell us um, where the Pokemon are. Maybe just um, give us a general um, map of, like, where we can find certain things at any given time, but not, like, exactly where shit is. Get on like, it. Let us... Give us a Pokedex thing after we join a team. Fuck. God. Sucks. There's nothing in my area, by the way. I was trying to play around with that. Kind of disappointed. Anyway! Yeah, apparently there is an alternative right now, which is called Skip Lagged, which is a uh, website that has like a bunch of like finding cheap. It's really weird, but I, I just saw like um le, uh, a news article for it. But yeah, here it is. It's Toronto and there's a Hitmochan somewhere on King Street and York Street. So, so if you're 
Well, it's going to probably go away by the time this goes up. But if oh, you were there, sure. if you hope were you there, got that hit, Monchan. Exactly. But other than that, it's just like it's a bunch of Pidgeys and Paras and Weedles. And there's nothing good around here, man. Yeah. Needs to be honestly, like better my, stuff around. Honestly, my area is like lousy with drowsies. It's insane. Drowsy <laughs> with drowsy. Boo hiss. Actually, no, that was good. That was good. Uh, Eevee! 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 Oh, oh, I got oh, a few of those. Catch it! Catch it! Catch it! He's like one of my favorite Pokemon hands. You know what I really want to get? I want to get myself a um. What's that stupid Pokemon called? Um. Let's see. Try to describe it. As you're working on that, <laughs> one of the other things on our list is we like to make political jokes. Um, Ireland is now joining Canada, at least an island of Ireland called uh, Inish Turk, is, has had a slow population decline and are now reaching out to Americans seeking political asylum from Donald Trump as a president. Wow. So if, for some outlandish reason Donald Trump somehow is elected president. Um, you can now also go to Ireland if you're running from the country. Yeah. Just in case Brian doesn't want you to come to Canada. Oh yeah, definitely don't. Well, if you were to come to Canada, you know, you could always bring that microphone and that would solve our problems. This would solve a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, it would. All the problems. So if I go to Canada, Brian, Shro, you and I are going to have to get sushi. Oh, for sure. Every day. Oh, Why hell yeah. We not get Until sushi even not in Canada. Yeah, we can do that. But, like, if we're running from Donald, if you and I are running from Donald Trump, Shro, we can go to Brian, get sushi, and have the time of our lives, or at least a day of our lives. Exactly. And it'd be fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. It'd be amazing. Yeah. All right. What else did we, did we talk about? The uh, we talked about the little retro nest that's being released by Nintendo last time. Yeah. Uh, we haven't talked about the prototype SNES though. Uh, this apparently is old news, but it showed up on my feed, so I thought it was new. Um, there is somehow this this prototype SNES that was originally supposed to be made with Nintendo and Sony working together, um, this turned up in somebody's auction, ha auction, I guess, and somebody fixed it up and it works as a SNES, or Super Famicom, rather, and they got the CD tray working, but I don't know if there are any games to play. I had an article up. Where did it go? I still have it. Hold on. Okay, yeah. All right, I linked it in, the, in TS. Yep. Gadget article. I forgot where I found it. It's kind of neat, though. Like, I've been fall. I've been seeing some other stuff in my feed related to this, where prototype consoles or uh, store display consoles have showed up in auctions or just out somewhere in a garbage dump. People have brought it home, cleaned it up, made it work again. That kind of thing. It, it's fucking awesome, and really sad that those things don't have a home. Cause that was part Holy of shit. seeing, like, a display for an, an N64 with, like, Pokemon Snap. That was part of my childhood. I didn't grow up with a, an N64, so that was the only way I could play that shit. And that's just awesome seeing all that again. Anyway, anyway, Shro, what'd you say? Uh, I was exclaiming because as you said that, I watched three Pokemon appear simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Are they? Oh, good? and then suddenly my GPS relocated me, and now I'm away from three of them. That's unfortunate. Aww. That sucks. You can still my click GPS on them, is though. spotty. No, I'm, it it jumped me like two streets away, so they're like not on the screen anymore. Oh. oh well. I got another Pidgey candy. That's all that really matters. There you go. Chuck another Pidgey into the grinder for a new candy. Oh my god, speaking of, have you guys seen... Okay, so...
full disclosure, I am a backer on Patreon for Corridor Digital. Um, they're the guys that do nerdy, awesome visual effects movies that they've gotten good enough that they've gone uh, semi-pro, I guess. or Actually, no, they're pretty much professional. Um, that they uh, do some like actual commercial ads. But they do a lot of stuff in their free time, too. And they made a Pokemon Go video that they released like a week ago. And uh, they got their landlord, who is a disturbingly accurate uh, impression of Professor Willow, to play Professor Willow in their video. And he's just um, making smoothies out of the returned Pokemon. It's really quite fabulous. Um. <laughs> I'll link it. Yeah. Make you all watch it, and then we'll talk about it next time or something. Yeah. Okay. And I'll watch it before next time. This is but okay. not now, because I'm also recording a thing. <laughs> they also had a, um... Like, a behind-the-scenes video of this, where they basically went through San Francisco, Chinatown, or wherever the hell they are in California. Um, and... We're basically flash mob pranking the area. Uh, they were all in like Pokemon trainer outfits, complete with hats and everything, trying to use like real world items as if they were in the game, and even had somebody dressed up in a Pikachu costume that they were chasing around and throwing plastic Pokeballs at. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's video. I shall watch that later. Sounds good. And so I think the last uh, the last thing on the uh, news item is the um, we were going to talk about the NES retro thing, right? Or did we already? Talk no, about no, that? we already, that's where, yeah, we, we talked, talked about that about in a different that. podcast, and then afterwards we realized there was the prototype Nintendo PlayStation. Right. Okay. So we've got three other things that Shro needs to discuss. Oh, that's interesting. Discord just crashed on me. Oh boy. The world is ending! No! The thing we're not using right now. <laughs> yeah. Um. Not sure if it just crashed so much as it did just like spontaneously update or something, because it's like, it's. It closed all the connections and then. Started back up without even like minimizing the window every, or everything. It, it started its loading process. And yeah, I jo joined right back into the server channels and everything like I was. That was weird. They've been, ha they've been having some server issues recently, so I don't know, maybe it's pertaining to that. Seemed fine now, like they fixed it pretty quick. But... Right. Oh! Uh, in a previous episode we also, what the hell were we talking about in with that involved space and killing you? Because we were trying to figure uh, out This wasn't a podcast. You. I think this was like, just outside of it. Was it? Oh yeah, you might be right. Yeah. Well, we for some reason, me and, could talk about. me and Dude were having a very in-depth conversation about yeah. how space killed you, <laughs> and the fact that there's like half a dozen ways that space can kill you. Um, and so I was actually looking up some of the answers to that, and like what you can do. And apparently, if you are unprotected in space, uh, you could be exposed, depending on if you're in direct like sunlight or on the shadow of something you could experience anywhere from you know negative 200 to well over 200 degrees um i think they had it in fahrenheit but i wouldn't be surprised if that was in celsius too um so that's a possibility that you could get uh severe sunburns if you were left to exposed um in direct sunlight, though, you do any real damage, even unprotected in space, in direct sunlight, uh, you'd probably have to be out there longer than you would be able to survive. So I guess that would just make your coat orps a little extra toasty. Um, and due to the fact that you're pressurized and space is not, uh, you would quickly lose all of your oxygen and all of your gas membranes would uh, rupture and split um, but you can recover from that um, 
you be it would be also be like a like one of those keyboard duster cans like they get real cold when you use them because thermodynamics and releasing a gas and all that well that happens to you too your body would actually get really cold and so there'd be like frostbite kind of thing around like your nose and lips and all that but believe it or not um your body's pretty good at resisting actual explosion um so like your skin wouldn't rupture you uh your eyeballs wouldn't explode in your their sockets or something like that that would probably be fine um you would lose consciousness within like 15 seconds though because your body would lose that much oxygen and what was remaining in your blood uh, would be used up that quickly. That's why it's the most important resource of your body. Oxygen is good for you. Also, to add context to this whole thing, I had seen Star Trek into dark... What was it? Beyond? Star Trek Beyond? Oh, right, yeah, Star Trek yeah. Beyond, which I still haven't I, seen uh, yet. I described it as space movie, and went on about how much space there was, and that most of this movie took place in not space and somebody just just pretty much i described it as everything happening in space and it was spacey and it was awesome because of space and then we talked about how different ways space could kill you and then this popped up so there you have it so there you go Star Trek Beyond was fucking awesome, and you should probably go see it. We're not sponsored by whoever the fuck made it. Yeah. Um, or Gene Roddenberry's corpse. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I want to, though, because I'm a diehard fan. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Into Darkness. I mean, I think it was a good action movie, but I don't think it was very Trek. Um, especially since I'm okay with the fact that, spoiler alert, Khan is in Star Trek Into Darkness, and I'm okay with that part, but I feel like they did it wrong. It could have been better. So, it's not even a spoiler. He was in the trailer. It, well, they didn't say his name in the trailer. He was just kind of like a faceless character. Oh, that guy's really? important. Yeah. They had him, like, full face. They didn't yeah. really give him a name, really. Yeah, they never said who that was in any of the trailers. Son of a bitch. Well, okay, spoilers for a couple-year-old movie? Yep, pretty much. Oh, well. It's, you guys don't Why have I didn't an care excuse much. anymore. Yep. Um, it's Wrath of Khan in this universe and stuff. Yep. It's kind of cool. Which is kind of... Well, that's kind of the sad part, too. It's just like, oh, you rehashed an old story and you didn't make it any better. Well, timelines, it's not really rehashing, it's just a different timeline, so of course they're going to go after some of the things that the, the main timeline went through, like the original Trek timeline. Yeah, so. but it seems like you're copping out a little bit. The, I, well, that's one of the things that so many people are liking about Beyond, because Beyond, they're like, alright, well, the f first reboot was pretty cool... Um, but where are we going to go from there? And then, okay, we rehashed Khan. That's not really cool. And it was more action movie than it was Trek. Um, okay. And so, Beyond. Well, let's not get too excited. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Um, Beyond, from what I've heard, is a completely original content thing for Trek and this universe. And on top of that is apparently a lot more in trek nature as you said this is actually a lot more character focused and uh it doesn't even timeline a lot difference. in space so oh yeah so there's a lot more focus on what's going on and less about just making cool action sequences though to be fair if i had to say one thing that i absolutely love about the reboot of trek is that with the modern technology at hand, they have made the starships and what's going on with them feel so much more plausible, realistic, and just absolutely cool with the how massive they are and all that they can do in appearance and with all the visual effects and all that than any of the TV shows or old movies could really comprehend and I kind of like that. Like, going into the in the reactors and engine rooms of the rebooted series movies. 
it's oh, so yeah. fucking cool to me. The the engineer tinkering part of me just starts stroking it. It's like, <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Speaking of TV shows, there's a new Star Trek coming out soon. New Star Trek yeah, show coming out I don't soon. know. That's Discovery, literally about all I know about it. Yeah. It's just Star Trek Discovery, I think it's called, right? Is it? That's what it's called? I don't know. I need to look I it up. I literally but... don't even know what it's called other than there's a new Trek. Yep, Star Trek Discovery is the title they're going with right now. It's due to premiere January 2017 on CBS. Hmm. But holy shit, this is kind of neat. Yeah, I'm, I'm on board. Um... I, I know my, again, my friend JP that I hang out, he is a really intense Trekkie. Um, has models, has his own phaser and communicator and comm badge and everything. Um, and I'm actually jealous, I won't lie. But, um, or envious, I suppose is the right word. But um, he is also a much tougher critic and tough sell on those kind of things. So he's like, oh, oh, I don't know about this. I'm like, are you kidding? I don't care. Give it to me. But then again, I also liked Voyager and Enterprise. So I think in the eyes of most Trekkies, I just lost all credibility. So. Eh, you like what you like. It doesn't matter. It I'm shouldn't just, matter. I'm, I'm a sci-fi right. junkie, and I'm fairly easy to please, I think is the bottom line. Mm -hmm. I'm also re-watching Battlestar Galactica, which is a very different kind of sci-fi. Um, and perhaps one of my more favorite ones, like Star Trek, I certainly love it, and it's TNG and DS9 are probably my favorites, um, but, like, Battlestar Galactica is so different that it's, um, kind of in its own league, and I don't know, uh, for From the Depths, which I've talked about before, make your own battleships and everything, I've started playing or rewatching Battlestar because I want to make Battlestar ships in that game. Oh. And so, yeah. But it's just I, I kinda I think of it as like punk sci fi. It's a lot more grungy, it's a lot more dark. It's it's my kind of thing. Cool. Alright. Well, I think we might have exhausted our topics. I think we're pretty much and our time. done. And our time as well. But just one last thing before we do go. It. Is, do it. Um, do it. <laughs> apparently Overwatch is celebrating the Summer Olympics with uh, limited time loot boxes. Has really? anyone heard anything about this? Yeah. Like, oh, no. Checking it out. So apparently it is on the British PlayStation Store at the moment. And for some reason, it's not on PC yet, which seems kind of weird, as at least from the information that I gathered. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, it looks kind of like, I mean, it seems like it would be kind of cool, you know, if they can do this for like a lot of different events. But the only thing that kind of sucks is that the only way you'll be able to get them is through loot boxes. So you at the moment, you're not actually able to purchase them with the in-game currency. So you have to either purchase loot boxes or wait until you level up for a chance to get one of these special. Um, there's like skins and emotes. What about the people that uh, can, isn't there a level cap? Like you can't get any more loot boxes if you're at the level cap or something. No. So basically what it is, it's sort of like call of duty where you get a prestige level. So once you're at a hundred, you go back to level one at 101 and you just get a little star by your name. And then you, Oh, uh, okay. okay. Five all the way, yeah. And so it's an endless ladder, theoretically. Yes, exactly. Got it. Okay, I thought once you reached 100, you were done, and you just were bragging rights and all that, but then you couldn't no. get any more lootsies because you got it all or something. That would really suck. That Well, that's what I was thinking, too. I'm like, wow, and they're going to make like new future events based off that, and people that have already you know aced the game are just fucked? That's shitty. <laughs> Exactly. I like that though. Like you can still keep getting loot boxes after getting whatever level. Part of me is confused every time you guys say this. I wish they had named some that thing differently because there's the real world company loot, oh, box, loot crate or loot crate or loot whatever crate, the hell yeah. it is, and that's what I keep thinking of. And I'm like, wait, you guys are in this? Because I think Miss Fire Tits actually is part of Loot Crate. Um, yeah, I think she did mention that. 
So I'm kind of jealous. No, I'm too broke for be. it. So maybe yeah, if I can get fifteen dollars on almost Patreon one month, I can probably Akron. do it. I honestly, personally, I just don't see the value in it. I mean, it's cool. Dude. It's cool that every month, you know, you get a little something. But, like, I mean, after a couple of months, like, you're just going to have a bunch of crap at home. And you're just, what are you going to do with it all? You're going to display it because, holy shit, look at all this awesome crap. And there's a shirt. I guess, you know, if you have, like, a, yeah, like, my apartment is fairly, like, you know, it's, like, I don't really have a lot of shelf space. So, I guess for me, it's, okay. just, it's not, it's not ideal. But, yeah. Like, I'm yes. a let's player, so shelf space would be lovely, and I would love to have things to display. So nerdy stuff, fuck oh, for yeah, sure. for sure. I could totally see that. Yeah, I want to get amiibos one day. That'd be fucking awesome if it's still around by the time I even do anything with YouTube. I mean, to be fair, those things are collector's items. They will be around yeah. in some fashion. Yeah. I... There you I go. I want shovel knight. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so I think that is the end of our podcast for today. It's been great to be able to chat with you guys one more time before, you know, the next episode. Uh, I thought you were about to say something maybe. dramatic. <laughs> before we all get last the time I'm ever into the black hole in outer the north, space the and are never seen again. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, um, yeah, if, uh, if anyone is down, you know, Overwatch right after this, I'm down. Hell yeah, provided my power stays Still on don't have it. to complete a match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need to get on that troll. And we'll think about it. All right. All right, guys. So um, before we go, all the info in the show notes as usual, right? Yep. And where to find us if and you us. need us or want to stalk us on social media, except for Shro, because he doesn't have anything. I mean, I could give him, like, the IA Twitter to manage if he wants. Alright, well, why? No. No? Okay, I've actually, fine. I've actually considered making a random uh, Twitter account that a, a friend or acquaintance of mine in the furry world did this. Um, make a, twi- like, just completely nonsense Twitter that no one knows about. You don't have any friends to it. Or don't tell anybody about it, and you just shout off your angers and obscenities and your bad feelings or whatever into this Twitter account <laughs> where no one sees it as just a way to like kind of pseudo fill the uh, social the media outlet, if you will. I it's would kind of... probably find that and then tell people where it is. Just to be a dick, so you might not want to tell me if you do. <laughs> I don't know, I'm pretty good at creating things that don't tie back to each other. Okay. I mean, how many porn accounts do you think I have? All of them. Yeah, do you know any about any of them? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Soon. Soon. Soon, trademark. All right, guys, so that is it for us. Uh, we'll see you again next week, hopefully. And uh, on We behalf, better. On behalf of Dude Run, Shro, and myself, have a good gaming week. I'm going to end this yeah. by saying I just found an article talking about the female orgasm. Oh, yeah, that's been around okay. for, for a day or so. I saw that. Still, <laughs> learn about that and... Maybe next time on the IA snake. podcast. <laughs> next time yeah. on the IA podcast, we'll show you a uh, a video demonstration on Dude. <laughs> Educational <laughs> seminar. Yeah, exactly. we're gonna link you to a porn site. Have fun with that. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.